Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fix it when pipes are not visible. We're going to do some troubleshooting so that you can systematically go step by step until you get your pipe displaying properly. What do I mean by fixing pipes that are not showing up? So you're going about your day, you know, drafting your pipe, no problem, everything's fine. Just a little dash line here. And then, you get this warning. None of the created elements are visible in your floor plan view. You may want to check the active view, its parameters, and visibility settings, as well as any plan regions and their settings. There's a lot there, right? So what are we going to check? We're going to check for template, view discipline, pipe elevation, view range, visibility graphics regarding work sets, visibility graphics regarding categories, and visibility graphics regarding filters. Then when they talk about plan regions, it's simply just a portion of your floor plan that you apply a view range to it that is different from the main view. We'll look at that in another video. It's not a big deal. For now, let's go ahead and check this one out. I think you're going to find it extremely useful and I hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. All right, so let's try to go in some hierarchical order here. Uh, let's create a new model. We go to new. It's going to be based off of a template. So, so for now, I'm going to go into the main Revit templates folder us imperial and i'm going to start with one of the architectural templates and let's go ahead and select just the commercial default okay and i'm doing this because when you open it by default the discipline is set up to architectural i want to show you a few things so hey, let's draw a pipe for that we type PI or you can go here to the systems tab and just click on pipe and I'm gonna draw a pipe right here it's gonna be let's say a 50 foot pipe up oh. now we get this warning see none of the created elements are visible in floor plan hmm you might want to check and da, 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 a bunch of things so let's see what could be happening uh, let's first go to our 3d view I could change my detail level to fine and I can even see the double line of uh, the pipe. So the pipe exists, um, but see one thing that's happening here is that by default, the discipline in this template is set up to architectural and architectural plans are set up so that they properly display things that are under the cut plane and we're going to do a separate video on, on view range but for now all I want to do is I'm going to take my pipe and I'm going to change that to let's say four feet right so it drops a little bit and just like that I can see my pipe here so the reason that's happening is because if I come here to my view range and again I'm going to do a separate video on view range where we're going to explain all this in high detail but I don't want to get too deep into it right now. All I want you to see is that the cut plane right now is set up at 4 feet and that's why I can see that pipe. So if I change that cut plane and I lower it to 3 feet then I still won't be able to see my pipe. The main driving factor here, in addition to the two things are working in parallel, the cut plane and the view range and the type of view that I'm in. If I click on level one or, or anywhere outside, right, like here in the, in the view, I'm looking at the properties of the view. So if I go all the way to the top, I see that there's a discipline associated to this view and it's set up right now to architectural. And that's why that pipe is not being displayed. If I go ahead and change that to, let's say, mechanical, now I can see my pipe. If I change it to, say, plumbing, I can still see my pipe. If I change it to coordination, 
I can still see my pipe. If I change it back to architectural, I cannot see my pipe. So that's the main thing. So let's be careful about which type of template we're using and which type of discipline is associated to our view. So that's the first thing. Now the other thing that can be happening is let, let's change our discipline to let's say mechanical, right? We can see our pipe, uh, but then I click on my pipe and let's take it to let's say nine feet. Well, now I cannot see my pipe any longer, even though I am under mechanical. Why is that? Well, let's go to our view range. And here you can see that our cut plane is set up to three feet, so that's fine. But then the top of that view range is seven six. So my view is not extending high enough so that I can see my pipe at nine feet. So if I take it down to seven, I bet I can see it. So let's let's do a little test here. If I take this and bring it down to seven. Now I can see my pipe, right? So two things, either you lower your pipe, but you know, most likely you'll be below the ceiling. You don't want to do that, right? So what you have to do is modify your view range so that that is displayed. So let's take it back to say nine feet. Again, we don't see it, but if we change our view range and we have, let's say 10 feet above our associated level, or you can even take it up to the level above, right? Uh, but typically, I want to keep it six inches under the level above so I don't see the floor drains or the roof drains uh, above. But just for this exercise, let's just take it 10 feet above our current level, which we know is higher than the nine feet at which our pipe is located. So if I click OK, now I see my pipe again. Now, if you're liking the video, I don't know, I guess we could show your appreciation. I'm not sure what to do. What to do? What... I guess we'll never know, right? Another thing that can affect the visibility of a pipe is in which work set is being drafted. So right now I'm not sharing this, but let's quickly make this a shared model. So I'm gonna go to collaborate right here. Uh, let's save the model and let's just save it here as test one. Now it's asking me if I want to collaborate either within my own network or in BIM 360. I'm going to say within my own network. And now I have work sets available here. So if I, if I were working on, let's say, let's create a new work set here. Let's call it work set two. the wrong one and let's say this wasn't set as visible in all views by default and I click OK and it's asking me do you want to make work set 2 the active work set let's say yes right and let's you know draft a pipe and see what happens right uh, from here to here boop again I cannot see it why can I not see my pipe well, if I go to 3D view, I cannot see my pipe either. So what's going on here? Well, the work sets, remember, it, it was meant to be not visible in all views. So this work set is not visible right now. I could make it visible in all views. And then now I can see my pipe both here and here. So we have to be careful about which work set we're using, right? Another thing that could be happening is even though the work set is visible by default in all views, you could have here under visibility graphics overwrite work sets, and you could have that work set, work set two, you could have it as hidden, right? Like this, oh, and then you wouldn't see it here, but then you can see it in the 3D view, but you cannot see it here. Why? Because that work set is turned off in this view but it's turned on on this view. So if I go here to visibility graphics overwrite and I turn that work set off from here, 
I mean, I hide it, then I cannot see it in any of the two views because my work set is turned off in both of them. Now, if I change the work set and I start drawing in work set one, right, I can draft my pipe with no problem and I'll see it. Well, I cannot draw elbows because it's an architectural template, right? So I would have to load all those elbows and all that. But we're not going to get into that right now. We're just talking about visibility graphics. And now that we're talking about visibility graphics overrides, another thing that could happen is if you have here under model categories, you have your pipes turn off. It doesn't matter which works that you have them or which elevation you have them, you'll never see them, right? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, ha you have them here in the 3D view because here you have that category turned on, but here you have your pipes turned off. So that's one thing that could be happening. So you always want to make sure that you have your pipes turned on. Another thing that could be happening is if I click on this pipe, I can see that it's in a system called hydronic supply, right? So you could do a pipe. Let's say you're drafting hydronic let's say fire protection right so you're drafting fire protection right here and you know let's give it a color so we see a little bit clearer what's happening so let's go here to piping systems piping systems and then to hydronic supply let's right click and go to type properties and then here in graphic overrides let's put it as whatever this nice light blue here so that's hydronic supply right here and then let's have fire protection wet let's change that to say this angry red right here right so let's say yeah you have your categories your pipe categories turn on right pipes but then it turns out that someone has here under filters Let's add a quick filter here. Let's say, uh, so let's create a new filter here. Go here to new and let's call it a fire protection wet. And that's our new filter right here, fire protection wet. We want to apply it to pipes. So we go down to pipes. We hide uncheck categories to make sure we're applying it only to pipes. That's good. And then we go here to system type and then equals, it's a fire protection wet. So this filter is selecting all the pipes that are under the system type fire protection wet. And if you don't know about filters, you can go and check out my, my video on filters. I'll probably leave a link in the description. All right, so we have our new filter. It's right here, fire protection wet, but now uh, let's say someone in this particular view made that invisible, right? So it turned the visibility off. So see, even though you have your pipe categories turned on, you're using the right template and you're at the right elevation and all that, your filter is hiding your pipe. So that's another thing that could be happening. And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com. And over there, you can contact me directly for some top of the line training. And you know, filters can be very tricky because they can apply to different things. You know, in this case, it's just the system type, but you could have filters that are based on work set, uh, based on diameter. Let's say you have large pipe sizes and, and someone's hiding it. I don't know why, but let's say he, he was hiding large pipes and then the pipe that you're drafting is large it wouldn't display so you know you need to check all those factors so good luck and i hope you enjoyed this one